Arrested us since Wednesday. So uh, she they don't put us inside one room like that. We are five girls. So some they s them with bottle. Some they beat up. Some they even took their um the penis. They are that night. So they naked us, they beat us, everything, they beat us in here in the night. So in the morning we told you are going to go back in the morning. Since that time I've been inside that place. So on Sunday I'm supposed to go home. So they said that there's lockdown. So even give me money. So I will, my transport, so I will go. So they said that on Sunday there's lockdown. So I now say okay, Tuesday I should go home before they cut me inside room. So one of one one their commander tried to rape me this morning before he heard the gunshot. And he ran away. I was the only one inside the room. They asked me to join them. I said, no, I cannot. I cannot keep my fellow human being for nothing. So can you just narrate a little what the kind of things you've seen, seen in that place? Yesterday afternoon, they killed one army man. And this man here, they collect, they kidnapped him day before, in the night with one man, one fair man there. So they kidnapped them. Some, they killed some. That day we came. They show also my head that if we tell government anything about this case, that they are going to cut off our head. So what else do they do there? They beat us. They even kill human being, kill them, roast the woman being. I don't know anything. Eh? There are plenty. I cannot count. There are plenty. About both girls, kids. both girls, both whom, both ladies, both kids, many people. I cannot, I cannot explain. No. Well, they came to our Akigoliko government on Saturday night and picked two of uh, the traditional rulers and two other young boys and took us to that place. So unfortunately, one of the traditional rulers is no more. And by God's grace, yeah, I want to thank His Excellency for prompt action and thank the gallant um, uh, the security, security operators who came timely to rescue us. Uh, following the incessant kidnappings we witnessed in Imo State recently, the state governor gave a marching order to security agencies to stem the tide of kidnapping so that people can come home and enjoy Christmas. So in a, in a read about about zero, one zero zero hours this morning, a joint security team comprising the military, the police, and the DSS stormed the camp in uh, order, order in um, Imo State and Lilu community in uh, Abia State. Anambra. Sorry, Anambra State. Yeah, and when we got there, uh, we noticed that the community has been deserted. Uh, these boys have taken over the community. They've carved out swaths of land for themselves. And that is a brand of insurgency. There is nobody. It's just a ghost town. Everybody has disappeared from this town. And in course of the raid, we were able, the security forces were able to rescue the Eze from Okigwe, um, Eze Hena Cho Ndukwe, who was kidnapped, I think, some days ago. And then we discovered a lot of decapitated bodies. And surprisingly, surprisingly, in the 21st century, we noticed that people practice cannibalism here. Because we saw, we, we saw, we saw human flesh being roasted. You know, so it's very, it was an eyesore. It was an eyesore. So, and we recovered a lot of vehicles. We saw a lot of dead bodies. What they do is to kidnap. They kill some of them, some of them they behead them, and then they roast. So, any arrest so far? Yes, we have arrested a good, a good number of them. Of course, they engaged the security forces, the military, the police, and the DSS. The they engaged us, and um, we've made a lot of arrests. So, so is there any plan to sustain this um, uh, action, of, action, action, action here? Yes. Knowing that they might return to the scene after now? Yes, yes, like I said, um, the state governor of Imo State, distinguished Senator Hope Uzodema, has given us a marching order, security agencies, so we intend to sustain it. 
because because of the activities of these boys, a lot of people do not want to come home. So he has told us to ensure that people come home and enjoy their Christmas. So what is assurance now for Imolites? Well, um, you, you can see, I'm sure you visited the, the, the places, you saw the shallow graves where they dumped human beings. You know, this is very inhuman, very inhuman in this century. So we are doing everything to sustain the momentum. We're going to ensure that uh, we, we push them to the brinks. You can see in every community here, you, you, you hardly find one single person. People have run away, you know. So we are going to do everything to return stability here, return normalcy here. God answers prayers. Only yesterday, the entire Christian Association of Nigeria convinced in a way to pray to Almighty God to reveal and expose those behind the insecurity in Nemo State. And the, I'm also vindicated. If you recall, several months ago, I did tell the whole world that this insecurity is contrived and sponsored by enemies of the state. Particularly, some aggrieved the politicians who doesn't like peace and who doesn't want the progress of Nigeria. But today, I think uh, we can go home and continue to thank the Almighty God. And I want to commend the security agencies in Nemo State. The DSS, the Army, the Navy, the police, the civil defense, all of them, for putting their heads together and making sure that at least Imo people will come home to celebrate Christmas. It has been a very thing of worry, wondering how entire local government, like also local government, will be abandoned in the hands of criminals and cannibals. From what we have seen, you will not agree with me that these are ordinary criminals and bandits who has no future, who has no plan, who are killing human beings and roasting human beings, eating human beings, cannibals. How else are we supposed to treat this kind of idiots if not to ensure that the law takes its course? Well, this thing has been around for some time. Oftentimes, we discuss our strategies, and before they will be implemented, it is foiled by the group. Because of mutual suspicion, I think we have agreed to only discuss at the end of every operation. So I don't want to encourage security agencies to tell anybody how they intend to continue this uh, fight. But I know the new strategy is working. And my government will give them every support they need to ensure that there is peace in Nemo State. And then Nemo people will be better off for it. Some traditional rats were kidnapped yesterday and um, less than 24 hours they were rescued in that same camp, you know. So your, your, your thoughts on this, sir? That will tell you that the people are on their own, in a world of its own. You see the number of vehicles they've uh, snatched and parked in this camp. You see how sophisticated vehicles are snatched from the owners, some of them beheaded, uh, the bodies uh, littered all over the place. To the glory of God, the traditional ruler, a very prominent traditional ruler, whose faith in God is also strong, that was kidnapped yesterday. God knows whether by today they would have killed him. But to the glory of God, he has been rescued. I want to thank the Almighty God for that. We will continue in our effort to fight insecurity in Imo State. And we are going to march these boys head on. And I don't care whose ox is gone. Anybody who has the mind of coming to slaughter human beings, roast human beings, eat human animal body, is not worthy to live. Should face the law. Must be made to face the law.